going to do an inspection of the big lunchbox, which is on Frygate in Preston. Previously an excellent premises, scored five stars, so we'll go in today and see what we can find. Morning, from Environmental Health, my name is Simon Neighbour, just come to a routine food hygiene inspection. Okay, so the wash hand basin is nicely set up. We've got good temperature water, got soap there, nail brush, all clean and tidy. Towels are handy. The whole place is looking nice and clean as well. Overall, that's great. Have a quick look under here. It takes clean right to the back. The refrigerator here has got an external temperature display on it. It's showing two degrees C. Again, it's all clean and tidy, it's not overly frosted up. And again, because it's quite a compact place, you've got the heat source right next to the freezer, but it's still able to keep the temperature down. And pop the thermometer in there to check what the temperature in here is compared to the display. Everything really clean and tidy. The temperature's nice and low on there. Yeah, the whole point of the scheme is getting five stars. We want consumers to be able to say, five stars, this is where I want to eat. So over the last three years since we've launched, we've got more and more five, four and three star premises. Anything that's scoring three stars or more is broadly compliant. That's all that we're after. But it's commercial pressure just encourages compliance. I'm very pleased to have another five star rated at the Big Lunch Box. Students are some of our best customers. Um, so all pour in and get your butties. Um, okay, so this next place, uh, we last inspected it six months ago. This will be uh, a one star premises last time. Uh, we'll see how well it does this time. The uh, wash hand basin was absolutely burn dry and the soap was dry and there was no towel. So we were fed some line about the guy uses the toilet in the house next door. If you've got a sink upstairs, you're not going to go next door to wash your hands. You're just not going to bother washing your hands and that's what I think happened here. So we'll see. It's just again, it's one of our few premises. It's in the bottom 5% the premises in Preston. This time, if we're not compliant, we'll be interviewing the boss under caution. We had a final verbal warning with him last time, so Let's see how this one turns out. Hopefully they took on board everything we said. It should be a nice easy visit. No, I'm not sure it'll be as easy as that. Let's go around here. So when we see it, like I say, I'll scoot around and I'll park in one of these. Curry cottage, oh, curry cottage. Yeah, it's open. That's nice. Oops, that's uh, that one way. This is Curry Cottage on the right hand side of the road. There's a little red. When you're first approaching a food business, just have a look on the way in. If there's weeds growing up outside and there's paint peeling off the walls and it looks in a terrible state, this is their first opportunity to try and entice you in. If they're going to make an effort here, there's a chance that things will be better inside. I'm just wondering now if it's going to be the same two guys, if they'll remember me. Hiya. From Environmental Health, my name is Simon Neighbour, just come to a routine food hygiene inspection. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll go and uh, we'll go and wash our hands and uh, see how we go from there. Right. It's pretty steep stairs, not a lot of light. Pretty much as last time. Absolutely bone dry. Oh, one drop of water in there, but the rest of it's dried. The water's off the top, and that's been watered down because there aren't any soaps that are that liquid. They're usually more viscous than that. Plaster which has crumbled out of somewhere. We've got a bar of soap, dirty soap, something you don't see very often. Uh, all of this has just been wet a few times, so all of the paint's peeled up. No idea why the sponge is here. Yeah, unfortunately, 
that's no good. Okay. That's pretty poor. Nah, that's rubbish. Right, we'll go next door and have a look in this next storage room. It's not looking particularly clean, and we've got exposed packaging over there. Okay, so the guy's living above the shop. It does look like it's his own sort of living space. Got a nice area here for the, the light switches. You can see how discoloured it is all around it, right on the wall. So every time you turn that light switch on and off, you're contaminating your hands with whatever dirt and debris is on there. So if you took a swab of that, you'd find all sorts swarming on there. And again, you can see the state of the handrail. In the refrigerator, not a lot of stock. Uh, Stuff is used by dates. So we'll have a look at the ones which are 22nd and 23rd because they're out of date. Slowly getting down there. That's out of date. That's out of date. 23rd of March. Probably lamb. That's out of date. All the outside of the boxes are greasy. There's another one here. Yogurt in here, separated a bit, which will go with the date. It smells pretty rancid, if I'm honest. And it says to store between two and four and a half, so that's not cold enough. We'll pop that back in there for now. We'll have a chat with the guy when he comes back. He's got some meat in here. Is that a tikka sauce on some chicken? Possibly. 21st from the 24th today, so that's three days out of date. And um, we've got some raw stuff, some ready to eat stuff, so the separation is not particularly good in there. Now I need to wash my hands again. Just use that to get the grease off and then. So it's a better setup than last time. Because we've got hot and cold water, we've got towels, we're just missing soap. Again, storage compared to the last one. The last one, which is a five-star premises, you can see what you, you need to do to get five stars. And this one, where you've got out-of-date food, you've got the outer containers are feeling greasy, they're feeling dirty, it's not separated out properly. This is looking much more like a one-star premises. Um, there are legal contraventions here, uh, and we'll have to take action to make sure that, seeing as it's the second time it's happened, uh, it doesn't happen a third time. No matter what we find in inspection, all premises have to improve. It's not something that we have to agree with them. The premises either improves or we take formal action, which could include prosecution. One way or another, they're going to get better. The guy who owns Curry Cottage was a little bit upset with us that we'd been filming in there. He said that we hadn't asked permission. We said that we had. He said we hadn't. We told him we had it on film. And he said, OK. Last time we were at Sandoz, we found quite a few problems with it. Basically, it wasn't very clean or tidy. There's a few problems with temperature control, so they got a final warning.